afternoon my friends and thank you for coming to visit me for another shave today's shave is brought to you by green uh we'll be using uh long overlooked paraso cypress and vetiver i think that's what this yeah cypress and vetiver it's a, it's a cream uh, i loaded it in a, an old used uh hand soap pump which just happens to be just about right oh dear it's for it, Okay, one pump is just about enough for one shave. That works out real good for me. Uh, we'll be using the uh, Cadre Anniversary Brush with Badger. And we'll be using the uh, Limey Batman Green. And I figured, well, what the heck. Parasso Green. I don't know why I picked green. Maybe I'll watch The Grinch or something. But uh, we'll go to it. We're even using the Crown King warm, uh, warm water scuttle. And the warm water scuttle, this scuttle has a uh, conical shaped uh, bowl in it. You can't see it from there, but it, it comes in straight down and then uh, it has plenty of water around it. I let it warm up in the water as I filled it, the uh, sink up with hot water. And then uh, once it flowed over the top, it filled the chamber. And so now hopefully uh, that'll keep it the uh, soap warm, but not too hot so as to break the lather up. My uh, water temperature is at 120 degrees. By the time it gets up here and it sits around for a little bit, it doesn't take long for it to cool off. Especially when I have the window open for a cat that's abandoned ship. She'll be back in whining and wanting me to open it up again. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I do have my uh, Phoenix Artisans uh, pre-shave cube um, here, kind of get things started and get my pre-slip going. This uh, soap has lasted me a long time. I got, I won this uh, Soap in a piff from Eric Sorrentino way back when he got accidentally got two pouches of it in a mailing and he piffed one off and I got it and uh, been enjoying it. I do like the fragrance Cypress and Vetiver, mostly Vetiver, but I'll forego all the dead dad jokes, you know, it's better, very good, and all that stuff. We will leave that alone. Okay, this is a Feather Pro Super. So this is an unguarded blade. I don't do unguarded blades. I just fairly recently started using these. I've had them for some time, but I've been, uh, Intimidated. But they work good. Pretty good in this razor. But mostly good in one of the co uh, feather clones. I have a feather uh, clone razor that uh, the blade sits a little deeper in and then when you put the Feather Pro in it comes right back out to where it would normally be when you have a standard blade in it. That makes it perform good. I 
Been about three days growth going here. The uh, for pump soap, this is good. It does compromise a little bit in the post path, post pass slickness. In other words, it's not, not much good for going back over unless you put water on it. Then you're okay. But, uh, because we're only using just a little bit of soap. pretty good hadn't thought about it but this would be the lay the what I'd be comparing that uh, what was it where it is uh, Duke uh, Duke Cannon I tried their shaving shaving soap in a tube what, honey? I opened, I closed your window. You left it. Let's see if she goes back up in there. I think she thinks I can understand her because she will nag at me for something. And of course I have no idea what she wants with it. Sometimes with her body language or she'll lead me to what she wants. Coming into the home stretch on Christmas. A lot of you guys probably got Christmas cards from me. You're going, how the heck did he get my Christmas cards? Well, I did a lot of research. I found a lot of you guys. And then some of you guys, like Eric, has been kind of laying low. And I knew he, I figured he probably would like to get Christmas a little Christmas cheer from the outside world. So I sent him one. And all you other guys just stumbled across your addresses or I had them from other mailings or correspondence back and forth. All get saved in a little notebook. And only comes out at Christmas time. So I had so many that I had to resort to Christmas, uh, to cards instead of postcards, instead of uh, Christmas cards, only because postage would have ate me up. This razor does cut very smoothly. And it deserves all the love it gets. I mentioned somewhere this morning that this razor, or its brother, the regular Batman, this is the Limey Batman, my most recent, or newer. It's actually older than the regular Batman. I got this from Sam. But these rarely leave the leave the cabinet here she jump off again yeah so if things go awry when I'm having another straight shave this is kind of the fallback razor kind of overshaved myself right I got a little crease right here and I overshaved with the uh, blue tip last time
Okay. Pass three. The uh, Pro Supers are fun. You got a little more blade feel, just a little bit. But you can get a little bit of more idea of the feather blades can be savage if you're not careful with them. They will leave you a nasty cut. So you really got to be kind of paying attention when you're using them. More so with the unguarded ones. Then I've got the uh, Schick Supers, Schick Pro Line um, blades that I had said that I'm not going to open until my vector gets here. And it appears it may be after the first of the year before I get mine. I'm going to finish up with the blue tip. I was going to This is a little more than polishing. Uh, is the uh, feather. It's such a good boy. He knocked everything down. And followed up with the blue tip. Just to The ones that are good at hiding will poke their heads up to see if it's safe and then BAM we'll hit them with the blue tip. Because you don't know just how savage this thing can be. It's mild but having a fresh blade in there and being deceptively mild it can lull you into mistakes too so be careful if you do get a real mild razor don't let bad habits sneak into your technique Just maintain your angles maintain your pressure uh, uh, discipline don't don't be pushing in because this thing will take skin off if you have a little bit of a raised uh, follicle or something, or a zit. This is just this was just a plain zit there. Even at my age, I had one yesterday. I'm hoping I'm going into another puberty, which means I don't know have a chance of getting a better beard. That's all we have for today's shave. At least this phase. I'm going to clean up and we'll follow up uh, in a moment. Right back. My favorite heroes are Spider Man and my Uncle Fred. My favorite heroes are Wonder Woman and my mama. My favorite heroes are the Hulk and Great Aunt Molly. Underoos. They even come out heroes against warm water and detergents. Batgirl and my daddy. Be a Christmas morning hero. Give Underoos the gift that's fun to give. Superman and my dynamite mother. Back and thank you for waiting. Today's really excellent shave. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. It was uh, Parasso Cypress and Vetiver Cream. Uh, we used the uh, Cadre Anniversary brush, brush that mine was in, in the Badger. We used a Crown King Warm Water Scuttle. Removal was done by the Limey Batman with a Feather uh, Pro Super. This would be its third outing. I failed to clean the razor well. I'll, I'll take care of it a little better when we're done here. And we're following up with the Parasso Green. And then I'm not going anywhere today, so I'll probably just leave it at that. Parasso Green doesn't last very long as far as fragrances go. But it's an old standby and I like it very much. 
coming into the home stretch on Christmas. Like I said, we are our church is trying to do a living nativity. It'll be Saturday night, but it's supposed to rain like crazy. So if it does that, we have live animals coming out and it will be safe for them. So yes we heard. Yeah. Uh, so we may we'll call that off and then I've programmed the carol on for a 30 minute concert Christmas Eve if you're in Newark and you happen to be on the north end swing by Central Christian Church sit in the parking lot and listen to some carol on music uh, in place of our living nativity which is usually on the same night I'm Major Rich on the Shaven Cadre uh, I'd love to have you come visit and if you like me on YouTube Certainly, you're always you're always welcome, and I'm glad to have you here. Like and subscribe, and we will see you on our next shave. Bye bye now.